Give me some maca noodles. I need the maca noodles. Today, that's what we're gonna be smoking the maca noodle. Gold label. I got some notes on it, family. But I gotta look up my notes because I ain't got them quite right in front of me. What I do have in front of me is the cigars. The Macanodo Gold Label 2023. Lee Mac, what is that? I wish I could tell you because I don't know without my notes. It's a four and a half by 60 cigar, I could tell you that because I could read. I read four and a half by 60, so it's just a little short, fat, fatty. Kind of like a girl I once knew. <laughs> Short and chunky. Kind of musty smelling on the wrapper. Hey, sweet tobacco on the foot. I'm not even gonna try to make it be a whole lot of nothing, family. But I went to a uh, Japanese whiskey tasting tonight. Couple of the products that we tasted here, some soju. I learned more about soju than the average person would ever want to know. This one is the Jikuya White. Jikuya White, I think that's what I'm gonna be pairing with. Only 25% alcohol. This one's distilled from sweet potatoes and rice. This one is distilled from barley. And the way they typically drink it is they uh, dilute it down about halfway with water. So an interesting way of drinking a drink but anyway let me get my notes let me get my soap chew and uh we'll be back y'all hang on get your drinks we'll be back That's right, it's me. It is me, the one, the only, because the world certainly couldn't stand another one of me. It is what it is. I is who I is. I am who I am. So it is what it is. And that's it. Anyway, it says from according to the official press release that the Macanudo Gold Lease makes its annual return and will mark the occasion with a new limited edition size available for this year only. Uh, shipping between May 1st and July 1st, or until the allotment is depleted. Eight front marks will be available, including the Golden Nugget, which is the new limited edition front mark included for the 2023 season. The blend was originally released in 2002, but for more than two decades has been a perennial favorite. Macanudo Gold Label Cigars are named for the brand's golden wrapper leaves harvested from the first and second primers of the Connecticut Shade Tobacco Plant. Exposed to less sunlight, allows more natural sugars to remain. Each leaf is extremely thin and remarkably supple with barely visible veins. The Capa Especial is a special wrapper is combined with the first and second primings of Mexican San Andreas Tobacco which is used as the binder and sits atop a blend of Dominican Piloto Cubano and Mexican's filler. Result is an extraordinary cigar. You don't say. So for 2023, this one they call a golden nugget. It almost looks like a golden turd to me, but four and a half by 60 suggested retail price is $11.39. So we're gonna see what we think about 11.39. Those short fat fatty. We're gonna try to keep our eye on the, on the time and see how long it takes for us to smoke this. And depending on what the cigar is smoking like, I am going to pull out one of two so choose that's what i'm gonna do shout out to my brother jay up in state line tobacco state line cigars i think jay is in delaware he on the line he ain't in elton maryland but shout out to you jay today is may the 13th the day before mother's day happy mother's day to all of my mothers being a mother is a very fantastic job 
sometimes it's uh you're not given the credit that you deserve but Sometimes you don't deserve no credit. I'm saying there's some bad mothers out there, but a lot of good mothers. So if your mother is still around, celebrate your mother. And uh, listen, forgive your mother cause there wasn't no damn handbook around when she was trying to raise you. She was trying to figure it out the best that she could. So listen, forgive your mother for all those things that she got wrong. If you had your own kids, you know you did messed up some stuff too. I know I did. Mahpanudo, Gold Label 2023. Now I'm not a big, uh, I'm not a big 60 ring gauge fan. Uh, I do like big ring gauges because they tend to light very well across the front and they smoke very well, but they just don't usually fit in my mouth so much. I'm not, uh, yeah, pause in what I'm doing. Very light draw, I have super, super light draw. That's like sucking through a straw. Now these probably need to be acclimated in the humidor for a while, but hey, listen, it is what it is. Everybody I know is gonna go and buy a cigar and they're gonna smoke one right out the mailbox. So this is the right out the mailbox test. But anyway, Brother Dexter, what's going on, Brother Dexter? You know we wanna thank you, yeah. Shout out to Star Stallone. Shout out to everybody who went to Woodstock. Even my uh, Mr. Alper, Mr. Mr. Seltzer, some of my uh, high school teachers that went to Woodstock. Shout out to Miss Hoppy. Uh, you know, hey, uh, shout out to all the teachers cause y'all got a tough job sometimes. All right, here we go, 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 let's go, y'all. Very, very light draw. These probably need to sit in the humidor for a little while so that they can, uh, I'm gonna say rehydrate or something, but they could be made that way. But I'd rather have a light draw than a tight draw. Light than tight, that's what I would rather have. Now it looks like this cigar comes in a lot of different sizes. The Hampton Court Tubo, 1179. Lord Nelson, 7x49, 1229. The Tudor, 6x52, 1199. The Duke of York, 5 and a quarter by 54, 1149. They're all about $11, $12. Now let me go back and look at it. It says it's a Connecticut shade wrapper. First and second primings of Mexican San Andreas. So it's got Mexican San Andreas binder. And the filler is from Dominican Republic and Mexico. It is picking up some uh, slight pepper. But that draw is really so light, wow. Now let's see, it's $11.39. Uh, let's see, 9.07, I'm gonna say 9.05 was our start time, so I'm gonna keep an eye on the, uh, the smoking time on this one. Right up front, this is, uh, this is giving me some uh, black pepper, spice, Slight bitterness, slight sweetness, so that's kind of weird. The pepper is what's left on the finish. Connecticut Broadleaf Mexican San Andreas Binder.
Dominican and Mexican filler. Huh. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, so tonight we're gonna pour, pour. We're gonna pour a little bit of soju in our glass. This is the Chica, Chica, oh good lord. Chicuya White. Product of Japan. Japan. It's only 25% alcohol by volume. And the way they drink it, I said earlier, is they. How the hell you open this damn thing? Hold on, let me figure this out. All right, I had to figure out how to get the top off. But anyway, one of the interesting things is that this little cross thing here is like the kimono. This represents the, the fact that this was, I can't say made by a woman, but the head distiller is a woman. So it's another thing I liked about this particular one. Now, 25% alcohol by volume. So they tend to drink this a lot with food. So, you gotta have some food, so what you got, Lee Mac 912? I got me some chicharrones, or some cracklings, as they say in the hood. So, that's what I have. I gotta get me some water, pare this down. It's interesting because if you're a whiskey drinker, you say, well, that's weak already. Why would you water that down? I don't know. This one's made from sweet potatoes and rice, 25% alcohol by volume. They actually water it down to almost like 50% or on the rocks. So it's a very light alcohol drink, you know. All right, we're going to sit back. We're going to sip on our sochu. We're going to spray the bugs. We're going to have our cigar. We're going to just sit back and relax, family, because the day was another great day all right family all right all right all right smoking the macanudo the uh gold nugget uh and she's burning pretty good the ash is a little bit a little bit flaky just got a nice bit of pepper in this it's a mild cigar kind of mild with a peppery finish. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna call it. Mild with peppery finish. This uh, Macanudo is one that I have smoked early on in my career, not this size, but uh, you know, the whatever the hell you call it. Macanudo Gold Label it was a mild cigar. Uh, in fact, I had somebody send me a bunch of them once and uh, they were like, yeah, they're great. But for me, they were a little too they were a little too boring after a while, you know. Once I passed out of that mild, mild phase, I didn't really necessarily want something that was quite so boring, so. But this one is interesting because it's got a little bit more pepper to it. Maybe good when I'm looking for something that's not gonna bang me up the head too hard. Kinda like the sochu. This is not a drink that you're gonna drink that's gonna give you the alcoholic buzz. It's really distilled for the flavors. That sweet potato and the rice, it's kinda, it's a good mix with this. The sochu and the macanudo, good thing. And now I need a cracklings egg. Listen, they go with everything. Chicharroni goes with everything. Shout out to all my people who gave, who gave some money and bought some another great day. Uh, chicharrones, uh, we had a, uh, a great, Herf, not a herf, it was just a quick live that we did for a couple of hours the other day. It was a lot of fun. We had a couple of folks that didn't know that the uh, chicharroni was still available. They thought it was sold out, but it's not sold out. So if you hadn't had a chance to go over there to uh, provide a cigar club and get your Lee Mac 912, another great day chicharroni, you, you're in luck. You can still get you some. Hey, don't take my word for it. It's a great cigar, but look around. Just look at the people on Instagram that's posting it everywhere and saying how great the cigar is. We're gonna have a hearth uh, probably first week in June. We're all gonna get together online with our another great day chicharroni. There's gonna be one. You gotta have one to be invited to the hearth. So if you don't have one, hey, you can't come. 
But if you know how we do with our hearse, we have a great time. We sit around, we drink, we talk. And uh, it's like one of those things. What happens in the hearse stays in the hearse. I did put one up and I left it up. I may have to go take that one down. But uh, yeah, we, we have a great time in our hearse. So another great day, Chicharroni. It's a great cigar, Honduran wrapper. It's got a Habano binder. And the filler is a mix of uh, Honduran and Nicaraguan. $12. I believe six by 52 or 54. Great cigar. Hey, listen, I got one right here. I just so happen to have a couple right here. It's round. This, this was not box press. It's got a, it's, it's a great smell to it. Let me tell you, the wrapper, that Honduran Corojo wrapper. Oh man, that smells so good. It's almost like stamp glue. Vinegar, that's why we that's why we named it chicharroni because it reminds you of that vinegar salt pork chicharronis Really nice cigar, so there you go and listen I'll put a link Somewhere if not just go over to providercigarclub.com And Google Lee Mac 912 and you'll be able to find a great cigar family. I Thank you in advance anyway and this cigar is nice too. One of the things I like about uh, 60 ring gauge cigars is they have a fat face. So they tend to burn very well. This one is loose. This one, I don't know if it was intended to be uh, rolled very loose, but this is why the ash, I believe, is so flaky on it. Because it's, it's not tightly compact. You see it's got great smoke output though. And that retro hair will give you a little bit of nostril burning on your hair. Shout out to my brother Anthony Smiley. Woo! He say that thing burned all the hair out of my nose. I gotta get my nose wig, my nose hair wig together. Anyway, we'll be back, family. All right, all right, all right, family. We are still smoking the punch macanudo, the gold nugget they call it. It's a gold nugget. <laughs> It ain't a bad cigar. Ain't a bad cigar. I think it's kind of average in my book. Because it's so short, there's one of the reasons why I don't like smoking nubs. Just for me, the smoke gets kind of hot before you get down to the end of it. So it's starting to warm up. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's still smoking well. It's still burning pretty good. Good smoke output, the flavor is still there. It's a mild cigar. It's meant to be a mild cigar. It's blended to be a mild cigar. It's got pepper to it. It's got a peppery retro hail. Not a bad cigar. 11 bucks and change. Uh, let me see what I say the price was. MSRP 1139. I don't know how much you can buy it for when they're available in the stores. But I kind of feel like for 11 bucks, I've smoked a lot better for 11 bucks. Now, have I smoked a lot better mild cigar for $11? Maybe not. Maybe not. Because some of the ones that I would suggest maybe in the milder vein that are like this might be a little bit more expensive than that. So it might be definitely worth your money. Let me give you my numbers on this family. A price, I'm going to give it a three. Construction, 4.8. I think this one's a little bit loosely packed. Flavor, three. Overall smoking experience, three. Which makes this a 3.4 out of five on a Lee Mac 912 scale. Another great day, family, another great day. You know, I've been telling you this for like eight years now, that you gotta wake up in the morning, you gotta tell yourself today is gonna be another great day because you are gonna have problems. It's inevitable, you're gonna have problems. If not today, maybe tomorrow, or the tomorrow, tomorrow, the day after that. What happens when you have those problems? When you say, I knew it was going to be a terrible day. I knew this was happening. Things always happen to me. I can't get a break. Blah, 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 blah. You're just feeding your subconscious mind with more negative shit. That's exactly what you're doing. And it's like a snowball rolling downhill. It starts out with a couple of uh, flakes and turns into a ball. And when you keep adding to it, before you know it, it's out of control. There's a huge ball rolling downhill. Instead of you standing back and taking a look at the situation and saying, now, how can I fix this? Now, do you know how you're going to fix it right away? No, no. Do I know how I'm going to fix my trucking problems now? I don't. I don't. But what I do is I work on it every day. I think about it. 
I give it a little bit of thought and then I put it in the box and put it back up on the shelf. I went out the other day, I had to fix my crank handle on my trailer, I'm greasing my landing gear. Next thing I'm gonna do is go out there, it's warm now, I'm gonna do a little maintenance on my landing gear, I'm gonna scrape off some rust, I'm gonna do some paint, I'm gonna paint some wheels, put some oil in the truck the other day, I may take in to get an oil change, make sure it runs, and it's ready to go. Is the market ready for me and what I wanna do now? No, it's not, it's terrible, it's beyond terrible. I looked at a load the other day that I typically would haul for six to nine hundred dollars. That's last time I hauled that load, six to nine hundred dollars. They're offering two hundred and sixty-five dollars. Today, with the price of fuel and tolls, it would cost me more than two hundred and sixty-five dollars to fuel up and pay the tolls and haul that load. So I'd be working for free. I'd be going into the negative hauling that load. So what do I do? I let it sit there and I go on about and do something else. What I did was I stopped by and talked to a lady who uh, has some work and she said put in an application. I went back and said I had to go to the corporate office. Hey listen, did you get my application yet? She says no. I was wondering what happened. I said well listen, I'm just following up. I just wanna make sure you know that I'm still interested and that I did do my part. I just wanna make sure you know that I'm still here. She said no problem. I got your name and your number right here. I'm gonna go ask those people and find out what's going on. So you gotta learn how to zig and you gotta learn how to zag. And that's, that's, that's just it, life is all about zigs and zags. I got a student who just passed her CDL exam. She's been in the healthcare industry for most of her life and uh, she, no, she's not healthcare, she's a social worker. And she does some stuff in healthcare. But now she's got another piece of the pie where she's gonna go out there and drive a truck, some kind of truck. She's got some things, some issues, and some children at home where she can't circle the globe and do all this stuff, but there's opportunity for her to maybe drive a dump truck. She's like, cool, I got a license, I can drive a tractor trailer, but I can also drive a dump truck and be home to get my kids off the school bus. See, family, you gotta learn how to understand that there's more than one answer to a problem. There's more than one solution to a problem. And just because somebody else's solution somebody else has their solution, don't mean it's gonna be your solution. What works for me is not gonna work for her. What's gonna work for her is not gonna work for the next man. So you gotta find out what works best for you. It's the same thing with these cigars. We gotta find out the cigars that we like. I might not like this cigar so much and somebody else may love it. Might be their next favorite cigar. So even though you watch this cigar review and you hear what I have to say about it, it might sound like something that's interested to you. It might, you might, might be interesting to you. So I encourage you to go on out and try it for yourself. Don't take my word or anybody else's word for it. I'm just giving you one opinion. Lee Mac 912, a man sitting out here in my garage smoking my cigar at the end of another great day and I'm sharing it with y'all. Thanks to everybody who has stopped by the premiere, who's out here in the chat right now. Again, thanks to everybody that purchased the Another Great Day Chicharroni. You can go over there and find those, ProvadaCigarClub.com. Look for Lee Mac 912 in the search and it'll pop right up. So we're gonna have a great time on our next hearth. We're gonna working on the next cigar. It's gonna be another great banger. And if you know about my past cigars, you know my next one is gonna be good as well. Will every cigar I put out be your favorite? No, everybody's got their favorite and everybody's favorite is different. But the one thing they can say about the cigars that Lee Mac 912 puts his name on, they don't suck. All right, family, I'm out of here. I'm going to see y'all next time. Y'all have another great day. Peace. Have a great week. Be safe out there, and I'll see y'all.